Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the June edition of the uh, Open Air uh, Graph Community Call. Um, we'll start uh, as usual with uh, with the updates, and um, today we have an important announcement to make. Um, I will uh, share my screen to. To introduce you, uh, uh, yes, you're seeing the right screen. Uh, the new Open Air Graph uh, API. So as you see, we we do offer APIs uh, to uh, our user to access the the Open Air Graph uh, data since uh, years now. Uh, but uh, the important update is that we have developed uh, a new. Uh, new API dedicated to the graph, which is more powerful and user friendly. And um, I'm, I'm sharing in the chat now, and I've also oh no, I've also shared the link. Uh, I've already shared the link to this article, uh, the, this blog post that we published today. When uh, you you can find uh, uh, the, the this update uh, and the new functionalities that uh, we we've developed, uh, JSON responses, uh, enhanced compatibility with the graph data model, and uh, expanded functionalities. And we are calling now for uh, testers uh, that can um, uh, that can have an early access uh, to to the API and uh, test them and uh, give us feedback from that from uh, from from their experience uh, before uh, this goes into production. Uh, so the official release is expected by the third quarter of um, 2024. So this, this, this end of, before <laughs> the end of this year. And um, we ask interested uh, users uh, to uh, fill out a form, a simple form to give a, to 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 give us. Uh, uh, your uh, uh, contacts uh, and uh, to and we we expect to start this testing phase user testing phase in early July uh, through the month the month of July so um, consider it uh, consider participating this is very important to us um, and we. Say saying that uh, I can stop sharing and and move to uh, Cosantina. Uh, Cosantina will uh, present uh, the user interface of the graph explore uh, and uh, and and show us how to to use explore to discover. Uh, scholarly content uh, in the graph. Constantina, you can. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> uh, can... Thank you, Stefania. <laughs> I will share my screen now. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Great. I will go to the presentation mode. Great. So let me move some tools. OK. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Constantina Galuni. I am the service manager of Open Air Explorer. And today, I'm going to present you uh, this portal as the graph user interface. Uh, Open Air Explorer uh, is built on top of the Open Air Graph and is uh, an easy uh, access point uh, for exploring all the contents of the Open Air Graph, the entities, their met the metadata, and the relationships between them. 
We have three basic functionalities uh, in our portal. The first one is search functionality, the second is link, and the third one is deposit. Uh, for the search functionality, uh, we, um, we have search abilities and uh, filtering options. Uh, we also uh, offer download the uh, option for search results and some reports on relationships. And we have recently uh, launched a new page uh, for browsing funders for the linking. Uh, we, uh, it's, the, the link is uh, the way uh, for users to be an integral part of the graph and enhance it uh, with more relations uh, by linking opener entities with other opener entities or uh, opener entities with external result, results. Uh, we have also integrated the ORCID search and link wizard. Uh, the deposit uh, functionality is the way to find a repository or a journal to deposit uh, your research. Uh, but today we will focus on the first two functionalities. Uh, let's see in more detail the search. For the search functionality, uh, we are offering uh, a search, uh, search page uh, where you can uh, uh, navigate through the research products, projects, data sources, and organizations. And uh, there is always a search form on top of the page where you can either search by keywords or by persistent identifiers. Uh, on the left side of the page, there is a variety of filters uh, such as access type, um, access type, year range, fields of science, uh, funders, etc., uh, which uh, you can uh, select. Uh, easily check on, uh, on values of these filters and narrow down your search results. Also, the response is customizable in, in terms of uh, sorting the results uh, by relevance, date, or impact-based indicators. Uh, the results are also downloadable, uh, as you can see uh, next to the sorting option on the right side of the page and uh, you can download in CSV format. Uh, we also have an advanced search page which has a similar layout to the simple search page. Again, uh, you can uh, advanced search in all the entities of the graph. And uh, you also have here the options for filtering and sorting and downloading. Uh, on top of the page, you can see a more advanced search form uh, with uh, offering a variety uh, of uh, fields uh, which you can combine uh, in order to express more complex queries. Um, we, we see here uh, in, a more in a more detail, sorry, uh, that uh, there is, for example, the access filter uh, which uh, you can use to combine some uh, access uh, modes and uh, check on them uh, to filter research products. You can uh, see the sorting options. Uh, there are here the impact-based indicators, such as citation count, popularity, influence, and impulse. And uh, you can see that you can also download results in a comma-separated value, CSV format. Uh, you can download uh, from the portal up to 2,000 results. Uh, when you select one of uh, each one of the search uh, results, uh, you're redirected to a specific detailed page for this record you have selected. Uh, for each entity of the graph, uh, the, this page is tailored, which means uh, we uh, display the information uh, specifically related and uh, uh, have an added value for, for this. Uh, entity. And uh, here you can see an overview of all the metadata and all the relationships that there are in the graph. Uh, there are also included statistics, metrics, impact-based indicators, and there is always an action bar on top of the page where you can do some actions. Mm. Uh, the, such, these actions uh, are, for example, uh, the direct linking of uh, this specific uh, publication, for example, with, um, uh, with another uh, entity uh, or uh, sharing your, uh, this publication to your social media 
uh, or there are uh, some citation formats offered, and of course, the ORCID claiming. Uh, there are also, uh, for the research products, there is also a full text link when available. And uh, there are also the, um, uh, the sources where OpenAir found this publication and uh, links uh, to, to these sources. <clears throat> uh, you can see on the metadata uh, that there are also the open access routes, uh, such as uh, this publication is uh, green and bronze, and uh, some more information, such as SDGs, fields of science, and uh, impact-based indicators and metrics, as I mentioned earlier. Um, there are also the relationships. Uh, for example, this publication <clears throat> is funded by uh, European uh, Commission, and uh, it is uh, uh, done in the context of uh, EP POS uh, project, and it's related to some research communities such as uh, uh, COVID-19 and NOMAD Institute. There are also relationships uh, with organizations, and uh, there are relationships with research products. Uh, you can also see here that uh, the, the type of the relationships, relationship is also mentioned uh, here. Mm. Uh, as I mentioned already, uh, for each entity of the graph, the, uh, the detailed page is tailored. For example, this is uh, the detailed page of an organization. We can see here again an action bar. We can see relationships with projects and funding data sources and uh, some research products, such as publications and other research products for this specific organization. Uh, we have recently added uh, more information regarding uh, the persistent identifiers of an organization, and we are displaying uh, the raw identifiers, Wikidata, ISNI, and also Fundref. Uh, this is a project overview. We also hear, we also see here uh, the metadata and the relationships of a project. Um, we, if in case a project is ongoing, uh, we automatically calculate the current month of the project within the lifespan. Uh, and uh, it's also worth mentioning. It is also uh, worth mentioning. Uh, the data management plan specific uh, tab we have here, uh, which is uh, supported by Argos. Uh, and this is the overview of a data source. We also see here uh, that uh, the layout uh, kind of changes because we, we uh, saw here uh, specific, uh, specific details and metadata uh, for data sources. Uh, such as, for example, the full text, the relationships, again, metrics, uh, and stuff. Uh, there are also uh, reports and embed results functionalities, as I also mentioned. Uh, for example, in, organiza in the organization landing uh, detailed pages, uh, you can download uh, CSV uh, formatted reports uh, for related research products or uh, for uh, research products or projects uh, of a funder affiliated uh, with this organization. Also, uh, for in the project uh, project detailed page, you can download HTML or CSV formatted reports on uh, the related research products. And there is also the embed results functionality uh, in the projects where uh, we offer scripts in order uh, to embed the related project products of a project in your own website. Uh, we have uh, statistics, metrics, and impact-based indicators. For example, in uh, projects, uh, organizations, and data sources, we offer a variety of uh, statistics calculated by OpenAir. Uh, for research products and uh, uh, we have uh, impact-based indicators such as citations, popularity, influence, and impulse integrated in the graph and uh, supported by BibFinder. And we also uh, have for research products uh, altmetrics. 
from the for research products and for data sources, we also offer usage counts, uh, which are monthly views and monthly downloads. Uh, one important uh, classification we support and have integrated inside the graph and we also display in Explore Portal is the fields of science. Um, from the first page, from the home page, under the search form, you can see link uh, to the fields of science browse page, uh, where you can see uh, the top three levels of the hierarchy. And you can uh, click on uh, each one of them in order to navigate to the search page uh, with this specific field of science filtered. Uh, so as you, um, as you can see, in the search page, there's, there is also the fields of science uh, filtering option. Uh, in the detailed pages uh, as well, there, uh, there are fields of science as metadata of the page. Uh, such as medical and health sciences or clinical medicine. Um, we also support another classification, uh, which is the sustainable development goals. And it's about viewing contributions of research towards complex challenges of humanities, such as poverty and hunger. And it's supported by United Nations. Uh, also from the homepage, there is a link to go to the Browse uh, Sustainable Development Goals page, uh, where you can see uh, in cards uh, all the available SDGs and this, uh, the number of research products uh, that um, uh, have uh, each one of them. Uh, there is also uh, in the search pages a filtering option for uh, the Sustainable Development Goals and uh, the sustainable development goals are integrated as metadata in the detailed page. Our newest uh, page uh, for an open air explorer is uh, for uh, viewing all the funders in the indexed in open air graph, which means uh, these are the funders whose databases have been integrated in the graph and are curated uh, for uh, it's in its card uh, of uh, its founder, you can see uh, the number of uh, projects and uh, research products uh, of this founder. And uh, this is also a link to the search page in order to, to, to see them all and uh, uh, search. Uh, there is also an estimation uh, uh, for of the percentage of the open access scholarly works of each funder. And uh, when available, there is a link to the funder's uh, open air monitor dashboard. Uh, now we're, uh, we will talk about the second functionality, the second main functionality of Open Air Explorer, which is the link. Uh, the link is the way to enhance the graph with more relationships. And uh, we, you can um, link research products with other research products or with uh, projects and funding uh, or with communities. Uh, when you search uh, for uh, research products, uh, you can see uh, the, the tabs of Open Air, Crossref, Datasite and ORCID, which means that you can search uh, in Open Air, uh, in the Open Air graph and in external sources, such as Crossref Dataset and ORCID. And you can uh, use some filters to narrow down your results and uh, locate the research you, you wish. Uh, other, um, if you don't want to search and you have uh, available the DOIs of your research, you can also upload a comma-separated value CSV uh, DOI uh, file uh, to link multiple research products in one step. Uh, in the second step, uh, you, you select the, the, uh, the entities you want to, uh, to link with the sources, and uh, you have available the types of funding, research products, and research communities. Uh, if, for example, you select the type of funding, you can either uh, select first uh, the funder from uh, a list provided here, and then search for your uh, project, uh, filtered by this founder, or you can directly search for your project if you know, for example, the title. 
the name of the project. Uh, there is also the direct linking uh, functionality. Uh, you can uh, uh, initiate it by uh, the detailed page or the search page in the search cards. Uh, you can see the link to uh, option in the action bar. Uh, and this means that the, when you click it, uh, you are redirected the, um, immediately to the second step of linking. Uh, so you're linking uh, the selected uh, record with uh, research product, funding, or community. Um, we have also integrated the ORCID search and link wizard. Uh, and uh, you can also initiate the process uh, from the detailed page, uh, from the action bar again, or from the search page, from the results cards, uh, where you can see uh, the ORCID ID uh, logo and claim. Uh, and you can select on this button. As soon as you do that, you the first time you will uh, be asked to grant open air access uh, to, to access and update your ORCID record and works. And um, then, since then, you can add uh, research products in your own ORCID record. As soon as you add the uh, records, uh, you add uh, works in your ORCID record, uh, you can uh, go to the My ORCID Links page offered by Explore. Uh, you can find it under the user menu after you have logged in. And uh, you can see all the works uh, you have added uh, there uh, from Open Air Explore. Uh, you can see, uh, you can view the ORCID uh, work uh, that is available in your own ORCID record. You can update your ORCID work in case you see any different or enhanced metadata uh, in open air. Uh, or in case you have made a mistake, you can also remove it from here. Um, after the synchronization of open air graph and the ORCID data, uh, the authors, um, if, if you are an author of a publication, you have uh, an ORCID claimed, uh, the, you are appeared uh, with a green ORCID icon next to your name, and uh, there is a pop-up with metadata, uh, such as your ORCID uh, uh, link and uh, some useful uh, links to the search page and to ORCID. Um, and uh, this means that uh, you are created and you are in the public data file of ORCID. Uh, the works you have, uh, you have added in your own ORCID record, you can also uh, see them immediately and instant instantly in uh, the ORCID website. And uh, you can see that uh, the source uh, is me, for example, uh, for, via the Open Air Explorer. And uh, you can set if you want to be, um, if you can see that this is trusted and you're able to also uh, delete here from here or do some changes. I think this is uh, all from me. Um, the, here are some useful uh, links uh, to the graph portal and the forum for, uh, to the open air portal. Uh, of course, there is uh, my email, the Twitter of the open air graph, and also a help desk link. Uh, please, I'm here for your questions and thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Constantina. Um, that was a very extensive overview of uh, everything Explore has to offer. Um, we have so. Um, are there questions about the presentation or related to the to to the presentation? Um, we can take these specific questions now, and any other questions related to the graph uh, later. So, um, if you have questions, please raise your hand or write in the chat or write in the shared document as as you prefer.
Uh, there was actually one, um, while, while you think of your questions, there was one uh, in the registration form related to Argos, since you mentioned Argos in, uh, in your presentation, um, we, we had a question about, yes, understanding better how, how Argos is uh, integrated um, into, into the graph. Uh, Argos is uh, is a tool uh, offering uh, where you can uh, build your own data management plan and add the descriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, data management plans are usually uh, needed for uh, in in the context of projects, and um, Argos uh, is uh, integrated. Um, not integrated exactly. It's synchronized uh, with the Open Graph, and we can uh, fetch. Uh, the data management plans uh, from there, as soon as they are uploaded to Zenodo, uh, we harvest Zenodo and then we can uh, uh, show uh, these uh, data management plans as uh, research products uh, and relations with, uh, with a specific project. I, I think, I, think I covered <laughs> kind of. Uh, maybe Julia wants to add something. Uh, maybe, uh, Constantina, you can uh, show in Explore uh, how it looks like when we have a DMP in a project, for instance, by searching uh, in uh, projects uh, uh, OpenAir uh, Nexus and how we can find the DMP. So uh, the, the people here also have a visualize, can visualize how the DMP is linked in uh, the open air graph uh, and showed in the uh, explore and remember you're muted Constantina. wait i was talking thanks <laughs> okay uh here we are in open air explore we have searched as julian uh, uh said uh, open air nexus and we go to the detailed page of this. And here we can see the tabs of the relationships. And there is a specific tab for DMPs, data management plans. Uh, we see that there is one uh, linked with OpenAir Nexus. And uh, it's named data management plan. It's nothing specific here. And uh, it is a publication. Uh, you see um, that you can, if you have uh, more than one, for example, you can uh, view them in the search page. We have a link to, to Argos to, to go, for example, start a new DMP. And you can also click on it and visit uh, the detailed page of this specific data management plan, uh, the abstract available. It's related to uh, Open Air Research Community. It's funded by this project, as you can see here, uh, I think. That's it. Okay, thank you. And um, is this so? This question was from Lauren. I, if I remember correctly, yes, Lauren. Um, I was just wondering if you could show us, like, so obviously the um, you can link to the data management plans, but I'm wondering, can you see how the data management plans themselves link together? So, um. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about, okay, uh, I know the three of us have uh, randomized control trials. I'm trying to understand what type of standards um, were used in those randomized control trials. And so I'd like to see, you know, um, did randomized control trials use this standard or that standard? Like that information is in the data management plan, but can I see those linkages through the open air graph? I'm not sure I got the, exactly the question. I, if I understood correctly, you have, for example, one project with multiple data management plans and you want to see the relationships between them, right? Uh, yeah, it could be that, or it could be uh, multiple projects with data management plans. And I want to see the relationship between those projects at the, at the level of the data within the data management plan. Yes, in case they are related, you will see the relation uh, in uh, in a specific tab. Uh, I'm not sure I I have in mind uh, now, for example, a project with multiple uh, data management plans uh, to to showcase this. But uh, if you if you have, 
um, there is uh, a tab there uh, which is called related research and uh, you could see other um, data management plans for example and you could see the relations such as is related to for example okay okay um julia Yes, uh, I, thanks, uh, Lauren, for the question, because it's very interesting. Uh, next uh, week, we will have the Argos community call, but in any case, we can uh, also plan a joint uh, community call between Argos uh, and uh, uh, the Open Air Graph to uh, dive a little bit in how this relationship uh, can be, can go and what uh, you as the users would like to see. Uh, we have uh, now a project that is called uh, uh, OS Trails, in uh, which we are uh, diving a little bit more into uh, the relationship between SKGs and DMP. Uh, so uh, having uh, your uh, ideas, input, uh, and what you would like to see, uh, it will be very interesting uh, for us to um, work on the development. Yes, Lauren. Um, that's that's fantastic. So is the best way to try to go to the Argos call next week or how would be the best way to contribute? Because I, I have a lot of um, thoughts on that. Uh, I Can I, um, yeah, um, let, we need to organize a little bit the uh, community call that could be Together, so probably it will be uh, between uh, uh, in this autumn. We will see, but in any case, please please join us uh, in the community call next week uh, with Argos, and then uh, we can uh, discuss also these uh, opportunities directly with uh, Ellie, who is the service manager of Argos. Perfect. Thanks, Omar. Thank you. Thank you. So, other questions on explore? Okay, in the I, meantime, oh yes, someone, Lauren. Sorry, yes. that was me again. I'm sorry, I um I didn't raise my hand. So, um, so one thing that I think would be really interesting is. Like we have in Europe these um like cohort metadata catalogs or randomized control trial metadata catalogs. Um, so I'm thinking specifically of uh, the EASC Life metadata catalog. Um, the EASC Life has one for clinical trials, and then there's something called the um, Beyond One Hundred Thousand Cohorts Consortium (IHCC), which is um, a EC funded. Uh, cohort metadata catalog, and it would be interesting, like, obviously the cohort metadata catalogs are maybe collecting kind of more granular um, metadata in, in certain specific areas of interest to them, um, but it'd be interesting to see how those cohort catalogs could connect to open air, or if they do connect to open air, so, like, let's say, you know, I have a cohort consortium called Orchestra, and I've registered my cohorts with this, you know, cohort metadata catalog, so I've, they've collected some kind of granular information to think about how this cohort relates to other cohorts in Europe. Uh, and then like, I'm just wondering, is there a way that, um, you know, open air can, can search over that and add, you know, connect that metadata to the open air um, knowledge graph or, or if that's kind of foreseen at all? Uh, so what we can do is uh, uh, when we go in the link functionality, um, we can link uh, any kind of uh, product or metadata that uh, is present in uh, uh, open in the open air graph. If it's uh, not present, um, you can uh, um, you can tell us what kind of registry or data sources are missing. And we can investigate if uh, we can uh, um, access to this, this kind of data. And then with the link of functionality, you will be able to link everything together. 
so for instance, uh, here you can link uh, projects uh, from uh, uh, from uh, the entire open air uh, data sets, but also from cross ref from data sites. You can uh, uh, link a publication to it and also data management plan. And uh, if uh, you are uploading anything to Zenodo, it will be automatically uh, appearing also in uh, uh, Open Air Explorer. Um, and uh, the same is happening with uh, the other repository. So it depends if we have the data source that is correctly registered in Open Air, and then we can link uh, this together. Yes, Laura. Understood. So if we like, um, so there's a platform um, called Mogenis, which is for kind of fair metadata catalogs. Um, and so if we were to say, okay, you know, Mogenis metadata, so these are not knowledge graphs, they're just metadata catalogs. So trying to kind of link the metadata into the open air knowledge graph, um, we could we could do that. Like, so it's not at the kind of project level, rather it's metadata that describes the number of projects. Like, uh, for example, um, BBMRI, which is the large biobanking um, infrastructure in Europe, they they have a metadata catalog. So, for example, like like basically trying to enable search um, like from the open air knowledge graph to these uh, knowledge catalog sorry metadata catalogs that are sitting outside of the open air knowledge graph. Um, but that would be possible, is what you're saying. Uh, what we can do is register the metadata catalog in open. Mm -hmm and see if it's uh, compatible with uh, uh, the guidelines because we have uh, the interoperability guidelines uh, produced uh, by the open air community. And uh, uh, if uh, the catalog uh, is compatible, uh, we can add it as a data source here in the graph, and then you can link uh, uh, whatever. And we can also suggest you uh, what are the entities that may be related to the metadata catalog. So in theory, it's possible. In practice, uh, um, if uh, we can uh, contact you in a uh, uh, one-to-one call, I will uh, put you in contact with uh, the technical people and uh, we can investigate it better. Is that okay for you? Oh yeah, that sounds fantastic. Thank you, really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm reading a question in the chat uh, from Christina. Regarding research products, what is the mapping of those research products with the currently available resource type or work type in Zenodo and ORCID, respectively? Who can answer this question? Um, I maybe. Uh, I. I may can answer at least part of the question. Um, how um, our uh, types are linked, uh, are, uh, yeah, um, are mapped to, to the ORCID, the work types, uh, is, is not uh, specific. We have uh, done manual work when we integrated the ORCID search and link wizard. And uh, we see, for example, that here, this publication uh, is a publication and is also an article. So uh, if there is a work type in ORCID uh, that the, um, is article, we map uh, these two together. Um, th th these data are not available in, uh, in a public vocabulary, but we have done this work manually. Uh, I'm not sure if I, ha I have covered the, the full question, however. Christina, uh, uh, yes, uh, thanks. Yeah, this is. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Um, it's indeed a question that we that we have. I am from the Swiss National Science Foundation, and we are uh, trying to use ORCID to import the the research works uh, of the researchers into our system, and um, it's. Uh, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a pity that there are no really standards between the the data sets that are collected on data site and uh, or on Zenodo and ORCID and then also this because there are multiple 
um, initiatives going on on how to link um, projects with funders with uh, with research products and it's a, it's a pity that there are, yeah that there are no standards and that everyone is doing it in a bit of their own way um and then yeah there is always some metadata and that is uh, that is uh, being lost in in all these translations of what is what and we really care about uh, all the type of um work types that are are for example not covered uh, uh, you're not covered in open air explore and uh, yeah that would cover also more more disciplines and not uh, like the more um publication related ones like for example if they publish a patent uh, or yeah, submit a patent or if they uh if, if they have a preprint and this is the, it, it's uh, you know covered here and uh, other sources like a Senodor and Orc idea a, a little bit more advanced here i was thinking whether there are going to be any developments in this direction in the type uh, or you are going to keep it like this with the other category as a very very broad category Claudio. Hi, good mo morning, everyone. I'm Claudio from uh, the Graph team. Uh, well, what uh, I heard about the other categories is true at the moment. Uh, basically, the Graph inherits uh, lots of its legacy, where uh, since the times of the old driver one and two projects, uh, the vocabularies setting, uh, defining how uh, the research products are categorized are still there for the large. Uh, back then, uh, many initiatives were not yet uh, uh, there, and we are now uh, in the process of reevaluating how uh, research product products are categorized. The idea is to converge towards the core uh, definitions for the resource types for every provider. So we believe this will lead to a better categorization of uh, various research prod, um, products, both literature as well as data set, but while at the same time supporting also software, uh, scientific software records. So what we have visible today in Explore, uh, let's consider it uh, a legacy that would be uh, soon, uh, I would like to say, superseded by a totally uh, new way of categorizing the research products. Um, unfortunately, I cannot uh, tell about a uh, release date for this important change because we are still uh, working on uh, defining the proper mappings because not, not, not every provider out there supports the core vocabularies. So it's important to reach good coverage in doing this uh, important jump ahead. Okay. I love it helps. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Cristina, for the for the question and Claudio. Um, so since we are talking about new developments. Uh, we can go to Maurice's question about the roadmap. Uh, Maurice is asking, uh, yes, about updates uh, on the roadmap. When are person entities usable in the graph? Um, the interoperability framework and the API. Okay, so... Um, we we we've we've announced. I mean, we partially replied to the the API um, developments um, with this uh, this beta test. So, Maurice, we hope you can uh, you can uh, join as a tester and get also the the early the early access and. Um, and test it. And for the other um, for the other aspect, person entities usable in the graph. Um, Miriam or Claudio, would you like to regarding the introduction of the person entity in the graph? We are working to include it in uh, in beta. In these days, we have defined. Uh, uh, 
a first model that we would like to have for the for the person with the attributes for each of them and the relationship we would like to have uh, between for the co-authorship and so on and so forth we have uh, drafted the first model i don't know if you are interested we can we can share it and uh, uh, um, initially, at least, uh, the plan is to include uh, uh, a person entity related to uh, every ORCID uh, ID. So uh, we will have a person only if we can attach to it a persistent identifier. This is for the for the start, and then uh, we will see how to to go on, how to proceed. For what concerns the uh, SKGIF interoperability, uh, the working group is still defining the model. We have a uh, first version of, uh, let's say, the, uh, the mapping <laughs> between the, the model of the graph and the SKGIF model, but uh, before releasing it, we wait that the working group uh, uh, finalize uh, the, uh, the, 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 the latest, let's say, uh, model, and uh, there will be no more changes uh, in the names of the attributes and so on and so forth. So we can start uh, sharing it, uh, hoping not to have to change it uh, every month. Thank you, Miriam. And Maurice, if you if you want to add anything, uh, please feel free to open your Trello board. Um, I don't, I I can't answer this. Me neither. <laughs> Claudio can answer this. I think. Okay. I don't know. Unfortunately, not. I cannot answer that. Uh, Julia, do you know who can answer? Maybe Alessia. About uh, the Trello board. Uh, yeah. So, yes, we usually have uh, a Trello board for uh, the roadmap of each services uh, that we try to have them uh, updated. Uh, however, I think uh, that uh, um, in this moment, uh, they are not uh, uh, adding a date, specific date on this task because they have uh, they don't have the date, uh, but they are working on this. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Claudio wants to comment better, but uh, we will uh, also update the next uh, version of the trial board. I can just add that I suppose it only needs to be updated. Maybe it was overlooked, but mm, I'm not sure. Okay, we will uh, keep it uh, in mind and uh, we will send it. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, other questions? We have five minutes still. Uh, okay, I had uh, some answer from uh, Ali. Uh, so here I add uh, the link to a uh, journal article, and uh, which is uh, about the link between DMP and SKGs. And let's. Uh, I I wish that everybody here in this call that are uh, interested to know more about uh, uh, the possibility to link the data sets with the data management plan and the knowledge graph would like to um, to participate next week uh, so we can continue uh, this interesting uh, conversation with you. And again, if uh, you have any feedback about uh, what uh, you feel that is not working or uh, uh, we must make sure that everything is updated, uh, please let us know and uh, we will uh, follow up as soon as possible. Thanks. Thank you, Julia. Yes, exactly. So as, as, as we say many times and we repeat it all the time, the, 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 the open air graph 
uh, is uh, has a participatory governance. It's community governance. So um, when you bring up um, issues or when you have requests, uh, that's the best way to uh, to to drive and decide the the, the, the priorities and. Um, so don't hesitate to test everything and uh, come back with feedback. That's very important to us. Any final uh, comment or, or question? Okay, so thank you very much, everybody, for joining. Uh, thank you, Costantina, for uh, for your presentation and everybody who contributed to replying and to uh, every everyone who contributed to discussion by posing questions or, or replying. Um, and uh, we will meet again uh, next month uh, on the 17th of July um, same time uh, for the for a new community call and that month we will have uh, we will host uh, our colleagues from Orchid um, that we will that will um, talk about our collaboration uh, between open air and orking from 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 their uh, perspective uh so it will be interesting to uh to to hear about them and we will uh of course um talk about any updates uh regarding the graph um so see you next month um and stay in touch for every well we will stay in touch for for all the um post uh meeting uh, material thanks again everyone and uh have a wonderful rest of your day and see you bye bye thank you stefania bye thank you bye bye bye, bye. bye.